mama train. Okay, we've now entered into the educational portion of the video. Thanks to everybody who checked out the video from last week uh, where I posted the full performance of this song and did a lesson on the uh, arpeggio parts or the arpeggiated rhythm parts played by uh, James Burton. Uh, on that same session, Roy Nichols played the lead parts, which we're going to go over today. Uh, as always, you can get backing tracks and uh, tabs to this and other lessons at my website at uh, jonathantorgamson.com. And uh, love to see you over there. And uh, hopefully you can find some of the stuff I posted over there useful. Um, so let's jump into it. Again, the song is in D. Uh, and Roy Nichols throws some really cool um, bluesy flourishes into this uh this intro, which also then acts as the outro. So we're going to go over this once. Just know that the, the same part is played in the outro. And he starts, and if you can picture it, you know, I always picture it. I'm at the 10th fret here because, you know, when I'm thinking D, yeah, a lot of times as, as guitar players, we're thinking 10th fret or, or maybe the uh, minor pentatonic blues scale at the 10th fret. Now, what... Roy Nichols does to start the song is he's playing this right where he's playing what amounts to the uh, the flatted third and then the flat seventh so some bluesy notes there but what he does which is just really really cool he's got this half step bend and he pre-bends it and then grabs that flat seventh so instead of you get this really funky yeah and I overbent that there it is. And then does the same thing. But. So again, we've got half step bend at the 12th fret, pre bend. Then we grab the 13th fret on the second string. Then we come down the octave and we're at the 9th fret and we bend. Do the same thing. So it's at that one. We bend from the 9th fret, and then grab the note on the 10th fret on the 4th string. So we've got, all right, and then he ends it with this power chord. So it's a C power chord slid into a D power chord at the 5th fret. So, so. time. All right. Cool. All right, now let's move into the solo section. Starts the same way. Um, sometimes, however, I choose to play that second grouping down here at the fifth fret. Um, it's going to sound like this, the first two. Okay. So again, I'm doing the same thing that I did in the intro on the 10th fret, or I'm sorry, the 9th fret to 8th, 10th uh, fret here. So. so instead, I'm doing it here at the 5th fret. Same notes, um, same riff. Now, in the solo, it differs from the intro and outro where it begins to... Uh, do some other things here. So we've got, we slide into a B on the third fret, grab a D, I should have said third string there, fourth fret for the B, so slide into that note, then the third fret on the second string, so back to the third string. So, and back to the second string. So we've got 
And then fifth fret on the second string, back to the third. So, so we've got. And now we get into some, some of the lower strings here, and I'm on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And we're going to get a, a lot of these unison notes in this bend, where you've got the D on the fifth string ringing against the D, the open D. So. Grab that D and I let it ring pretty much through that whole that whole portion there. And I go, I slide into it. And then I'm playing the third fret on the fourth string. So that's happening on the fourth string. Back to the fifth. Seventh, the C. So. Mr. Nichols shows up in the song. It's the outro, which is virtually identical to the um, to the intro. So we can you can review that um, to get to the end of the song. Uh, as always, uh, come on over to JonathanTorgerson.com, and I have this all tabbed out uh, very meticulously. Um, if that uh, if that's the sort of thing that helps you, come on over and uh, and download it for yourself. And until next time, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel as I'll be putting more and more things like this up uh, in the time ahead. All right, take care. Bye-bye.